uh, let's talk cranes, folks. Those towering machines moving cargo in ports and on construction sites. It's a dance of power and precision, but it wasn't always this way. Go back a few centuries and you'd see a different scene. Early ports were all about muscle and sweat. Think wooden cranes, ropes, and pulleys. Back then, manpower was the engine. Teams of men sweating under the sun would haul on ropes to lift cargo. It was slow, dangerous work. Accidents were common, but it got the job done. These early cranes, as rudimentary as they were, were essential for trade and construction. They represented the earliest attempts to amplify human strength and defy gravity. The Industrial Revolution changed everything. Steam power, the driving force of the era, found its way into cranes. The first steam-powered cranes emerged in the early 19th century. They were game changers. Suddenly, you had machines capable of lifting much heavier loads than ever before. We're talking tons of cargo moving with relative ease. This new technology meant faster loading and unloading of ships. Ports became more efficient. The steam-powered crane wasn't just a technological marvel. It was a symbol of progress, ushering in a new era of industrial might. Fast forward to the mid 20th century. World War II had just ended and the world was rebuilding. The demand for more powerful and efficient cranes grew. Enter diesel and hydraulic cranes. Diesel engines provided even more power than steam and hydraulic systems offered something new. Precision control. Cranes could now move not just up and down, but also side to side with incredible accuracy. This was a game changer for construction, allowing for the precise placement of heavy building materials. The introduction of diesel and hydraulics marked a significant step forward in crane technology, combining raw power with a level of control that was previously unimaginable. Computerized control, the rise of automation. By the 1980s, computers were changing the world. The crane industry felt the impact too. Joystick controls replaced levers, offering smoother operation. Crane heights increased dramatically, allowing for work on taller structures. Computers brought automation to the forefront. Imagine this, a crane operator sitting in a comfortable cabin using a joystick to control a massive machine with incredible accuracy. That's the power of computerized controls. They've made crane operation safer and more efficient. The future of cranes, smart and autonomous. So where are we headed? The future of cranes is all about automation and intelligence. Think self-driving cars, but for cranes. We're talking about cranes equipped with sensors and artificial intelligence. They can analyze their surroundings, detect obstacles, and even make decisions on how to move cargo safely and efficiently. Imagine a port where cranes work tirelessly 24-7 without human intervention. That's the potential of this technology. It's not just about efficiency, it's about safety. Autonomous cranes could help reduce accidents and make the workplace safer for everyone. We're on the cusp of a new era in crane technology, one where machines take on more responsibility, freeing up humans for safer, more skilled tasks. If you like this episode, don't forget to like and follow and please share. Thanks again for watching another episode of Pace of the Waterfront.